Hi, my name's Leona from Supraconscious Soul and this is your Capricorn July love reading. So, I'm just going to tune into your energy. I've already laid out your oracle cards just to make things a bit quicker. So now we're going to look into Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising. Sun, Moon and Rising spirit for the highest good of all. Right. There we go. So we have the Six of Wands in reverse that's coming in from the past. The Ace of Cups. Ooh, the Two of Cups. The Nine of Cups in reverse that's in the past. Knight of Pentacles moving forward. Then the Six of Swords moving away from difficulty. So we had the King of Swords in the past. Two of Wands making a decision and the Ace of Pentacles. So underneath the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is about a relationship breakdown. This could be a friend, family member. This could have been a relationship. This is kind of like the undercurrent energy. It's almost like this is what is being pushing you to make certain decisions or to make certain choices this month. It's like you're you're healing in more ways than one. Maybe not just as in um in terms of your heart perhaps it could be in terms of your body you're going through the healing process for a lot of you because you also got the medicine man or woman card now this card talks about you having um, skills in past lives because this is the past life cards about that were to do with healing and healing your body you're being asked to kind of reconnect to that energy this month yeah and you're being asked look we got the free feathers and the free swords so it's converting these free um swords into these free feathers here in a spiritual way it could also be that you guys are going through a massive healing process and a lot of that process has to do with how you think about the situation do you is it light as a feather or is it heavy as a sword so you're being called to weigh up that at the moment so underneath uh, your first card you got the six of wands in reverse now this is talking about coming in from the past there was this energy of feeling like you weren't supported you weren't there was no victory you weren't getting the help that you wanted you was butting your head against a wall but it didn't matter what you did it's like you weren't being seen for who you was yeah and there was no victory within that you also have the nine of cups reversed underneath that so it could be that there was things that were being pushed under the carpet there was things that were being hidden about a situation and it was causing obstacles and blockages for you this could be about finally it's like the curtains being drawn now or opened and it's like things are coming out that um, things are being revealed things are no longer being hidden under the carpet so to speak now this was to do with some kind of justice some kind of truth some kind of fairness um it was a situation that needed um somebody to be kind of brought into line because we do have that sword of truth there so it's about somebody being brought into line and that clearing away the fog in a situation somebody speaking their truth about a situation somebody standing their ground um, somebody remaining in their authentic self so you also got the card of full moon now this talks about completion and cul culmination so this full moon that was in capricorn just gone about two days ago when i record this reading it's saying that something came to a completion for you something came to a head you got a letter you got something that said you can now complete this phase and move on it was the end of a cycle for you and i feel like you felt it yeah we also have next to that creativity, change and the colour orange. So that's about the solar plexus and it's about you allowing yourself to go through these changes which is bringing more creativity into your life. You could be expressing yourself differently and um, the change is showing on you now. It's also saying that with this card it's about now 
it's about allowing yourself to open up more to intimate relationships that's your goal for this month now it's like all of that stuff has passed now you've gone through these changes and you're being asked to just kind of open yourself up a little bit more you also got intuitive nudges and it says intuition is the language of the soul we are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess which keeps us connected to our higher selves the universe and to our divine spirit so you're being given intuitive nudges maybe it's that there's somebody that likes you maybe it's that um this could be the one yeah maybe that's it you've already met the romantic partner you seek maybe you're not trusting your intuition on a matter for some of you but it is saying that one thing we do have is codependency issues here so it says addictions are affecting your romantic life so this could be addictions in terms of drugs, drink, they could be pulling back your confidence, it could be making you slightly paranoid, it could be that you feel like um, you don't want to make a move to the other person, you're just kind of hiding your feelings with the other person, it could be that you're, you're putting a lot into something where you should just let see how it goes perhaps, yeah, um, it could also be, like I said, that you're going through this process of healing and that could have been affecting how you was um, coming across to others. However, you are being made aware that there is somebody around you that does have their eye on you and we have the two um, uh, free little angels there looking over this relationship. It's almost like you're being pushed into a relationship. You just don't realise it yet for some of you. However... For some of you as well, we have this new beginning because this is the Ace of Cups. This is an offer that comes in. This is something that comes in that makes you feel like your cup's running over. This is a blessing. This is an emotional blessing where you just feel like, ah, oh, I just feel so free now. Yeah. And it feels like whatever this is, maybe it was a situation in your life. Maybe it wasn't in terms of a relationship. Maybe it was somebody, a thing or a per or a um, a situation yeah but you now feel like you can make decisions where you're moving forward now now you feel like yeah I can set my goals into motion now whatever that was in the past I'm putting it behind me as well because this is talking about moving on moving to smoother calmer waters moving into a new life getting away from all that disruption and it's having a new sense of mental harmony as well and you also have the Ace of Pentacles coming in with the Two of Cups. So this is definitely where you feel like you could have met your soulmate. This is where it's like a lot of things could be coming together all at the same time. There could be stuff regarding your home, um, education, regarding... Um, finances, loans that's kind of come through at the same time as this love and it's almost like it's come through as you've moved away, as you've moved away from all that turmoil in your life but I feel like you have to be the one to make the decision to move away because tarot doesn't do that and this clearly talks about you making a decision, you wanting more out of life, you wanting to move the energy forward as opposed to backwards, you're looking at how you can get that third wand there yeah what what steps do i have to take to make this work so yes i really do hope this has um helped capricorn sorry it's short and sweet but it was to the point so if you like um a personal reading from me all the information is in the box below um i really would appreciate a like a share or subscription thank you thank you thank you take care stay blessed bye bye